It looks like a regular forest, but it's not. I'm standing in something that makes up less than 5% of the country. It's called an old growth forest. There's only a few left in West Michigan, if you know where to look. In Ottawa County's Amon Park, lots of trees, all ages and sizes. Those largely make up the old growth forests that we have today. Richard Kobe, chairperson of the Department of Forestry at Michigan State University, is a forest fanatic. My background in, in research is in forest ecology, and I'm very interested in how forests will, will change over time. He says that old growth forests are rare because at the end of the 19th century, most of them were cut down during the boom of Michigan's lumbering era. The forests are rare because of um, our history of interacting with the landscape. Few old growth forests escape the clear cuttings and can be visited today. But Richard Kobe reminds us. That doesn't mean that they've never been touched by humans. Old growth forests are not only nature's version of a holy grail, they provide a very important benefit. Those old growth forests also store a, a lot of carbon. More than half of Michigan is covered in forests. These trees, larger than life, they offer, dare I say, a rare look into the past. If I'm in the vicinity of an old growth forest, I, I definitely would, would drop in to see it. And they make for a pretty good walk in nature. Other old growth forests nearby, Duncan Park, also in Ottawa County, Flower Creek Nature Reserve in Muskegon, and Auto Nature Preserve in Oceana County. Say that three times fast. Enjoying this splendor of a rarity, Olivia Yatuma, Fox 17 News.